Hello again, friends. Light and darkness just don't mix. A safe and stable life requires us to leave behind shady living and enter fully into the life of goodness which God desires for us. God is light, the Bible tells us. There is no darkness in him at all. Suppose we say that we share life with God, but still walk in the darkness. Then we are lying. We are not living by the truth. What lures us to live in the shadows rather than living fully in the light? How can we avoid these dangerous temptations that keep us there? Are we spending time with uplifting people or with gossipers, complainers, and fault finders? Are we talking problems and conspiracy theories or speaking truth and encouragement? What about the content of what we're watching or reading? What are the lyrics of the music on our phones say? God calls us away from people, places, and even media that glorifies sin. We need to find new activities, new places to gather, a new circle of friends, and new sources of nourishment for our heart and soul. Mixing darkness with light is a recipe for living in the shadows of discontent. and That too often leads to destructive life habits. Take no part in the worthless deeds of evil and darkness. Instead, expose them. Loving God, help us to consider what we are thinking about and engaging with, particularly if it's things you tell us in the Bible are harmful. We know we can't just ignore those parts of the Bible that are inconvenient to our lifestyle. In fact, ignoring the truth of your word drives us further into the shadows. For once you were full of darkness, but now you have light from the Lord. So live as people of light. We repent of dark thoughts and behavior. Help us to come out of darkness and walk with you in the light in everything we do. Amen. Let's enjoy life as God intended as we live in the light today.